is your microwave oven fuse keep blowing? Well, stick around, watch this video, and I will show you what is the problem and how to fix it. So, first thing first, we're going to make sure and unplug it. And then remove the screws from the back. It have one, one, two, three, four, five, six screws in the back. Remove those screws. So, you need a special tip to remove them two screws in the back. Okay, so, you see a special tip you need. And then have two screws on the side remove the cover So I plugged on. I will plug on and show you there's no power because of the fuse blue. Right, so no power. And now I'll disconnect the power. Remove, remove the fuse. All right, and then put in another fuse. and then plug it on back and now you can see display so everything working but when it, but when it put it on right the fuse keep blowing. So I will show you. I don't know if you can see, but I'll have to zoom it up a little bit. Alright, so I'll run it for 12 seconds. And I will notice when I put it on, the fuse will blow. Alright, so watch it good. Watch it watch it fuse. Alright. So no power again. So disconnect the power. Disconnect the power. 
Right, so what I mean is why the fuse keep blowing is because of the capacitor. The capacitor on this gun. Right, so I will have to remove this capacitor and put in another capacitor. So First thing first, remove the tree connection. Discharge it. Discharge the capacitor. All right, so low power. All right, so that. And then the next step now is to remove it. So the screw below pull the capacitor. So remove the screw. Capacitor. All right, this is the old capacitor, and the value is zero point eight two UF. All right, so whenever you change any capacitor, make sure you have the correct value. All right, so this one. This is replacement capacitor. Alright, so how do we connect the screws? Uh, remember whenever you're installing back the three cables, the three wires, right? You gotta remember the same way you take it out, the same way you put it back, right? So so the dial cable hook up right across here. So you dial the hookup um, to the first terminal across here. The transformer hook up to the second terminal. And the other transformer wire hook up to the last terminal. Alright, so everything hook up and secure. Alright, so uh, put on the lock fuse. Where is the fuse? Alright, so I put on the lock fuse. Right, so put on another fuse.
plug it on. Right, so. I will set it for 12 seconds. Alright, so it working as you can see. Now I will run the test to see if it hot. Well, it, it hot, right? But you will know that. So, right, it hot. But you will know that. So I will run the test and show you that it hotten. Alright, so. All right, so this is my world famous heating testing in my career, right? A cup with ice. All right, so no water, right? Where's this inside here? Uh, plug it on. Thirty sec three, three seconds. I'll just wait all right so all right so we have some water in melting but to make sure, I will run it for one minute. So, one of the reasons why the fuse keep blowing is because of the capacitor. The capacitor is gone. So, if it's actually in capacitor, I'll work again. But sometimes, when the fuse blow and I will need capacitor to, you know, sometimes it could be a it could be the transformer, it could be a switch. It doesn't know unless you run test. Right, so, um, this sharp microwave, right, sharp microwave is the best microwave I come across. In my 10 years of repairs in my career, sharp is the best. It lasts long, the patch replaceable, and it's really good. Right, so. Alright, so it's working. So it's heating, it's working, everything okay. Alright, so I will put this, I will unplug, unplug this. 
but about this together. Now this is your own capacitor. Right, so. All the screws in the back cover. I'm going to run for a few seconds again. Empty walking room. As always, thanks for watching all my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, leave your comments below. Until next time, Mr. Fixit360 saying good luck with your all your repairs.